it doesn't. Excuse me, sir, do you agree with this? Trump's not that bad? I disagree with you. He's not that bad, though? He's really bad. But he's not that bad. He's super bad. You think he's the worst he's ever? Been, yeah. You think, you think he's done anything good? I don't, I don't think the previous president was good either. Me neither. Do you think okay. Trump's done anything good so far? No. Not one thing? But I don't think the previous president did either. Ah, you're kind it. of a nihilist. That's you're kind it. of a nihilist. I, I agree it. with you there, but I, I disagree with you. I think they're all working for the wrong people. All of them are. The Republicans and the Democrats are working for the wrong people. Can you name one good thing but Trump's done so far? Trump in any way. Can you just name one good thing he's done so far, though? Why? Forget he's politics. The, he's, just the, he's the president. He shouldn't be the president. Who should, be the, who should be the president then? Have a good day. All right, you too. Hey, guys, it's Fleckus. This week we're at CSU LA again to convince people that Trump is not that bad. We have an official setup here with a table and a tablecloth, and we're going to talk to these college kids and see if we can get them to agree that Trump is not that bad. Fuck us talks. Do you agree? He's not that bad? You don't care? Hey, that's better than no. Hello. Trump's not that bad? What? I was very nice to you. Sir, sir. Glasses, sunglasses, sir. Excuse me, sir. Do you agree with this? Trump's not that bad? He's not that bad. That's what I'm talking about. Two for two. Videos. Yeah? Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. I like your hair. I like the flow. I like the camo. love what you're doing. Trump's not that bad? Hell yeah. Trump's not that bad, do you agree? No, but I'm not gonna talk to you. But do you think he's that bad? I do. Is there anything good he's done? I said I don't wanna talk to you. Alright, then just don't talk to us. I didn't know you were like a thing. I'm not a thing. The internet, it's fake world. I'm just a guy in a vest. So I didn't realize. No worries, you wanna talk about it at all? Do you have any concerns that I could Yell to you? Like, to be like not that bad as like the leader of the free world. Yeah, because the media makes him seem like he's the worst person on the planet. And if you agree that he's not that bad, you're not progressive enough for the mob, you'll get kicked out. That's why we do it. That's reasonable. Yeah. But like, he still should be the leader of the free world. And he is, and he's doing a good job, better than the last 10 presidents we've had. That's the tough debate. Let's debate it. And you want to be on camera. All right, here we are. You came with like facts and you started to join. Yeah. That's what... I'd be spitballing. Okay. Oh, you're flecking. Yeah, what's up, man? Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, if you guys, hey, if you guys want to talk, I'm very nice and it's easy. We'll talk simple numbers, simple, stupid stuff. It'll be fun. No worries if not. You let us know, though, because I think you guys will come around to it. I'm good, brother. All right. Keep it 100. You still meet me on the east side. Then I let the windows up. Yes. Yeah, that wasn't great. I'm not defending that. But that's pretty bad. It's not not that. So we have to elect someone who's never said. So we have to elect someone who's never said anything bad ever. Like, how does that work? I, I honestly, before he was ever going into a political career, when I was a child, he was had his television show. I was like, I don't like this man. He doesn't say nice things. He's not a nice person. Nice doesn't matter i don't think it matters to me but that's like a so, so did you who did you vote for in 2016 then did you vote for bernie sanders no, I voted for hillary clinton. and she's nice i think she is yes hillary clinton as a lawyer defended a pedophile rapist and got him off and bragged and laughed about it is that nice i know because well, but to be to be fair, you had a nice claim as the reason for voting, and you voted for Hillary, who defended a rapist, who raped a child. He's not that bad. He is. He's not a good person. But and then you voted for not a good person in 2016, so you don't really follow that rule for yourself. You're just selectively applying it to Trump. No. Hillary called black people super predators. I yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, but she has, like, admits to things when she does something wrong, and, like, and it doesn't matter to me for that, like, she was the most qualified. Like, he's not qualified for the job, and I don't like that. You think he's done anything good? You think he's done anything good in office? Has anything gotten better since he's been in office? I haven't actually paid any attention, so I have no... So then, okay. What are the Democrats talking about nowadays? They're talking about how we should eat and how, um... No, we can't eat meat, and we, we want to eat people, straws, yeah, and... Yeah. They're selling body parts of babies. Yeah, what is, what is that about? I mean... Things took a dark turn in the last month or really so. They did. And there's really, there's no one running uh, in 2020 that can actually be like a normal person on the left, it seems like. Everyone who is Yang or uh, Tulsi Gabbard, they're just kind of like throwing them by the by the wayside. Uh, to give Gabbard credit, though, uh, recently I did see the post on uh, Daily Wire, shout out to Daily Wire, that... Um, that Gabbard condemns uh, third trimester abortions. We have our pinky toe on the door, you know? Yeah, that is really good. And the child sacrificing Satan worshiping pedophiles are going to be pissed about that one. Yeah, I mean, that's okay, man. Um, that, that's <laughs> honestly, that's okay. That's okay with me, too. <laughs> what happened? 
Runny nose or bloody nose? Bloody. Uh, okay, get better. You know there's actually more conservatives in California than in any other state in the country? Really? Yeah. Numbers wise, there's just Number a ton. Wise. It makes sense. A lot of million people here. Yeah. You, sir, quick question. Trump's not that bad, agree? Not that bad? Not that bad? All right. I don't think any of these kids have ever talked to anyone before. Is that possible? Terminate? Um, what? Demand. Murder. The market. Final, 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 so right now, technology is what's going in the market. Okay, so what if we were just a regular gang member from here? Would that make a difference nice to you? Nice one. Oh, yeah. Um, you got like your... Yeah, they barely got me. They got you guys pretty good. <laughs> is there anything that he's done in office that you can say is undeniably good? That was a good thing? Not... I don't pay attention to exactly what he's doing. Um, I think that regardless of what he's doing in office, I think the social unrest that he's caused in this country is undeniably bad. Do you think the social unrest is because of the things he's doing or the way the media is covering it and the way the media is projecting it? I think the media can be projecting it, um, but as a media student, I also don't feel that, um, I don't feel like the media has done anything like outside of what it's always done, but how he conducts himself and interacts with the media is definitely what's causing the issue. So, for example, the fine people on both sides in Charlottesville, mm -hmm. that got blown up. Everyone's talking about that forever. They're still talking about that. And it ended up being pretty much like a hoax. Like he said, there's fine people on both sides. We're talking about the protesters and the counter protesters. But he also said, I completely disavow the white nationalists, the white supremacists. Like those people should be disavowed completely. But everyone only heard the other part. There's fine people on both sides. Did you hear that in the news? I did. And did you know that he also disavowed the white supremacists and white nationalists uh, right after? I did, but there's something to be said about going like backtracking and saying like oh I disavow this but at the same time you continue to say and do things that are supporting it maybe not blatantly but you're still supporting it what do you mean um, I mean the fact that he even came out and said like there's fine people on both sides to begin with like the fact that that even came out of his mouth like you're the president you should be tactful enough not to say something like that but weren't there though there's the people there who just wanted to protest the statue getting taken down and there were people that are protesting those people and the real problems were the white supremacists and the antifa that fought out in the park like that there's fine people on both sides away from those people that's what he was saying. And he, before he even did it, he qualified it and said, I completely disavow the white supremacists and white nationalists. They should be disavowed completely. You had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. I didn't hear the full speech. So, so if you might... were to rewatch that and see that in context, maybe watch the full thing through, would you maybe change your mind on that whole find people on both sides thing? I might change my mind on that specifically, but I wouldn't change my mind that he does not know how to say anything. They're kind of realizing the lies that have been told to them. The lies that have been told to them by the media for years. The Democrats' current stance, they did it in the debates, they all raised their hand. Should we criminalize crossing the border? No. Should we give free health care to illegal immigrants? Yes. So I think that kind of prioritization is not like an American first approach. So maybe you don't agree with Trump, but the, whatever, the, the, the but like you should agree that Americans should come first. Do the, you agree with that? I agree Americans should come first, but what we're talking about is... Do you agree that we shouldn't be incentivizing people to come here illegally? So no free health care and, and we should criminalize crossing the border illegally? I'm not saying we should criminalize it, but at the same time, that's the question that everybody's... It's like, are we going to make them criminals or are we not going to make them criminals? But the reason people want to make them criminals is because, oh, we have to put Americans first. But we're not thinking about Americans first, regardless of the immigration issue. So illegal immigration, do you think that's a major issue going to 2020? Do you care about that? I'm, you live in California? I mean, living in California, I don't think it's as big of an issue as, again, the media would like to make it. But at the same time, the people that are watching the media and believing it, not questioning it, especially the majority of the middle of the country that has no idea what's going on. And they're the ones causing the majority of the issues. <laughs> well, how many people do you, would you say are here illegally? What ballpark me on a number? I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Give me a ballpark, come on. A ballpark for the country? How many illegal immigrants would you say are in the country? Give me like a, a give me a range. Maybe a million. I don't know. It's like 20 to 30 million. Okay. A Yale study says 20. They've been saying 10 to 12 for 15 years. Why can we count it, but it's such an issue? But the thing is, if you're going to tell me that it's not an issue and it's divisive and Trump doesn't really care about whatever, and you're telling me there's, you think there's a million people here illegally, there's just 20. I don't understand why he's saying here. Why are you saying here? Uh, can I talk to her? I mean, she's kind of approaching. Do you want to, do you want to sit with us? I'm asking. I don't want to sit. I'm just asking him. Okay. 
what's the question? I said, I understand, like, why you sitting here doing all this, but why are you sitting here? Like, well, what's the difference between me and him? Uh, can I talk to you? Why are you sitting here? Because uh, I, I organized this. You you like this? Yeah. He invited me here. Yeah, I invited, he invited you. Know this. He's, my, he's my, yeah, he's my guest. <laughs> I got it, actually. Why do you support Trump? Um, because he's actually doing things for the country. Uh, when he speaks, he's, he's completely honest. Um, you know, and, and I, I understand that that there is a stigma that Trump doesn't like people of color. That uh-huh. he, he calls Mex, he says Mexicans are rapists. You know, I get that. Are, um, wait, are you Mexican? No, I'm Guatemalan. Guatemalan. He's yeah. a DACA kid. Yeah, huh? that too. He's a DACA kid. Oh, cool. I am. Yeah. Okay. So you know, and so so I I, I get. I get why people believe that. Mm-hmm. And really, the, the only reason is because that's the, what the mainstream media says. Okay. The mainstream media says Trump's a racist. The mainstream media says Trump's a sexist. Uh, you know, he's an ableist, an ageist, you know, everything on the list. Okay. Um, and I don't believe that, that, that that's the case. I think his actions are very much different uh, than what people portray him to be. What do you believe? What do you mean? Like, what, what, what do you believe he's doing? Um, well, like he was saying, the unemployment is down, which is a really good thing. Uh, you know, prison reform. You know, uh, that's like when was the last time that, that we saw we saw real prison reform change? You know, I mean, he brought ASAP Rocky back from Sweden. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. Dude, I missed the spoon. It's right here. It's still here. I got it. Spirit. You can get that at shopfluckus.com. Not necessarily a plug moment, but there it is. Time period? Are we gonna say? I don't think it's again? necessarily going back to a year. I think it's going back to a mindset where America is the best country in the world. America is the land been, of opportunity. We've never been the best country. Do you know this country was built on slaves back? Do you know how many countries were built on slaves? Okay. This country you know also many? abolished Ooh. slavery. How many hundreds of thousands of people and died to, to end slavery? Huh? Yeah, how many white people died to end, end slavery? Okay. Yes. Some white people are. Really hundreds of thousands of people. No. Yes. Okay. So why would you? I just don't understand why would you where are you trying to go with this and i don't even i don't well, even have a problem me. with because we i know under i understand that our paths don't align you know what i mean like i don't but with you it's like why do you sit here and do this you're telling him because of his I, I heritage he I can't understand. be a republican okay, that's no, like racist I'm not telling him, I'm not telling him he that's can't like be republican. if i was like hey him, you I'm have to like something because of the like color of your skin that's kind of wild i would never say Am that to somebody him he can't be republican so I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, okay, here it's we go. Very, it's very easy to frame it as racism from your end, and you know that. Because yeah. you know what she's saying is that you supporting Trump is against your own self-interest. Yes. But if I, I say something like that to, to you that. about which is, anything... Which that's, I don't think it's true. I, I, know what that, which, I know that that's what she's saying, but I don't think You understand that you're a DACA student and he's uh, trying to not, stop DACA and the because it was entirely. Because it was an unconstitutional program. So it's if, not in... So it's, so it is not in the president... Because it is not in the president... What would you do if he tried to send you back? It is not... What would you do if he tried to send you back? I would I would try to say, hey, let me stay. You know, but he's not doing that right now. But he's not he doing do that. But okay, okay, uh, okay no, look, we can't have a conversation. Okay. If you're gonna use what ifs. Hold what on, what on, if on, what if on, Hillary was on, elected president and then she decided to deport everybody? Hold on. Or go to you war with I'm, Russia so, and there's so a draft. What I'm, say, what I'm saying is, is that what she is saying is, is that I get I get her what if and her what if is relevant. Like that no, it's relevant. not because, because Trump has no, said he supports streamers. Trump has said he supports streamers. Why wouldn't I be against illegal immigration? It's not good for the country. Not, it's not inherently not good for the country. Being against? What do you mean? Yes, illegal, yes, like, it does. No, it's, it's, does. It's the, yes, it does. Yes, it does. You know why America Trump likes me? Because America is a country where you can come with nothing in your pocket and you can no, you, you can do you amazing things again. You can sit back. My dad came with zero cents in his pocket and he has a business now that employs multiple people. He can't do that in Guatemala. He can't do that in any other place because the United States. Is the freest country home. with the greatest amount of Why? economic you opportunity. Be here. Exactly. You need to go yes, to it. That's some the case. Point, the United States has you to start enforcing to to. its laws. We don't want you here either. If that's the case. Trump don't want you here. We don't want you here. Period. <laughs> that's the case. <laughs> Just because I'm DACA, does that mean that I can't start saying that I can't start being honest about the way things what are? are? You being honest about that the Constitution needs to be needs to be practiced. That's why Trump is. That's why Trump is against DACA. J- Trump you? didn't say he's against Dreamers. He 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 said from before he ran for president. Trump said that he supported Dreamers. Hold on, hold on. So you're a DACA student, right? Yes. So let's remove DACA. What happens to you? I don't know. His ass let's find out. Back home. Let's find right? out. We, we, you know we what we should do? Like, you know what and we should do? That, how how about? He said we? that he would ask to stay. How about, how about, you know, like you know what if you prioritize on get, deportations? He's a Congress. student, he's not a criminal, he has Congress no criminal record, he Congress. won't get okay. deported. That's like an honest, like, he won't get deported. Action. Yeah, yeah. How, how about we get Congress to pass amnesty instead of having the executive branch do that? It's unconstitutional.
people are gonna start to realize that Trump's not that bad. How about this? How about this? This is an idea. How about Congress does two things? We strengthen our borders, we build a wall, all right, so there's no more legal immigration, then Congress focuses on the immigrants who are here. All right? How about then Congress creates that pathway to legality that 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 we want, right? But the the legal way, the constitutional way. The only reason that Congress hasn't done anything like like vote to strengthen the wall is because this hold on, let me finish. Can, can, I, can I finish? 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 Uh, let me finish though. Let me finish. Okay? The only reason Congress hasn't done anything is because they want to bring in as many legal immigrants as they can, then give them citizenship, and then turn them into voters. That's the only reason that Democrats do this. That's some great replacement bullshit right there. Well, it's, 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 the, it's literally the only reason Democrats do that. So, so how, how, about, how about we do things the constitutional way, where Congress votes to give people amnesty, where Congress votes to strengthen its borders the way it should? Let's, let's find yeah. common ground, right? But the, the legal way, the constitutional way, doesn't that make sense? You're telling your country that told another country to tear down a wall, to build a wall? That wall was there to keep people in. That wall is to keep people out, because that's called sovereignty. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. First of all, first of all your parents, you're brown skin, right? Yes, I am. So you're, like, you're brown skin, so you're already targeted. And then now that you're How am I targeted? Because well, I'm wrong. Who's targeting you? Well, Trump. Why? Trump is not going to see you with your make, make a Great America whatever hat. And he's like, oh yeah, you know, we're going to keep him because he's on our side. He doesn't care. When was he the last really time Trump care. said that he targeted brown people? Give me an example where Trump specifically said that he was going to target like, brown people. Because that's what you just said. It's everywhere. Where? Cite it's me one example. Okay, cite I don't have one the example. In my mind. Anybody, you can anybody cite an example? Can right, anybody Twitter, cite like one example? Like you know, the ironic thing is that Trump is the first one to actually do something about about the cages. Uh, you know, about about the family separation. You know, all of that was going on way before he came into office. You know, Obama was there. You know, Obama didn't do anything about it. Uh, you know, no one even talked about it at yeah. that time either because they weren't just trying to like roast Obama at every turn. They try to get Trump for everything he does. So when you do hear about it for the first time, people freak out about the kids in cages. But that photo came from 2014, that, one, that I iconic photo that was going around. And people just want to ignore that. How do you know that it came from 2014? They looked it up. It was on like an eight. It it's, it's true. Look it up. Who looked it up? The, the one of the you kids sure in the cages. Not fake news? No, no. Wow, yeah. One second, please. Please. I need it for my job. Trump's not that bad. Do you agree? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> but do you, do you agree the media is trying to make him seem like he's a monster? Maybe. And he's maybe doing some things that are undeniably good that are better for the country than we were years ago? A little bit. Is there anyone that's running in 2020, Democrat-wise, that you can relate with and you like? No, I haven't really, like, uh, been into it. Check okay. All I'm saying is, he's not as bad as the media says. He's actually doing some really good stuff. 2020 is coming around. I think a lot of people that surround the political center are going to be voting for Donald Trump. I want you to consider it. Is that cool? Yeah. I see the cross on your chest, too. I got one, too. God bless. For the immigrants that tried to do it legally, what if they didn't have, they, they, it, was, it was too long of a process? Like, for example, I saw it on, for example, I saw it on social media. I don't know if it's true or not. It seems like, a, it seems like it's about right. That one of this chick's uh, grandfather, whatever, was waiting to get processed as a citizen legally. He died out of a heart attack, and two weeks later, a note, the letter saying, came that saying, he's a citizen now. What if it's too late for you guys to be like, oh yeah, now you're a citizen, but he's already dead, but he's a citizen. You're talking about making the process. Why don't you just make the process faster now? And why shrink the borders now? We can't we can't do that because then that creates an incentive for people to start coming in more, so, right? So when so everybody's trying to come in, we're already incentivizing people by trying to say, make America great again, keep America great. America's the greatest, we're number one. That's already an incentive. That, that's less of an incentive than free health care and education, government. right? And then tell them that we're the best government in the world why wouldn't they want to come okay here? then let's you then let's not here. get involved with other you want to stay here are you incentivized to stay here and not go back to guatemala yeah exactly so what it's like what incentivation is it to fix the immigration system to be fair we bring in a million legal immigrants a year the fact that there are between 20 and 30 million people here illegally slows down the process for legal immigrants because we have so many people we have to account for with resources and money so if there were no illegal immigrants here we could probably bring in two million a year have you always been against deportations is this is something you care about forever? Is it just now at the table? What? I care about black people.
Do you, because the people who are affected most by illegal immigration are the black community. So, uh, jobs and prioritizing. Ain't no, ain't no black people in our communities going to go pick no fruit or. It's not about that. Going to go do that. It, histo like, historically, know. it's been construction jobs. Okay, ain't no. I don't think black people are affected by illegal immigrants. They're the number one group affected by illegal immigration. So. It's the truth. That's the truth. And that's not even like me debating it. That's just, that's just well, truth. So. They, you say you okay. America. Do you like America? No. Okay. Like this, this whole premise right here, Trump is not that bad. That's a conjecture. And it's not really like, if you did any kind of debate or anything like that, like you can't really initiate a debate with a conjecture. So it should be Trump is not that bad in relation to something. Like I'm not entirely sure what the motivation behind the, the phrase is. It's to encourage people on the campus who are conservative or maybe are like scared to voice their opinions because of the backlash to go out there and talk to people and not set the stakes so high. Trump's the best would be hard to debate, especially for a college kid, but Trump's not that bad. It's easy to open the conversation. It's easy to open the conversation um, compared to what the media describes him as. So Trump is not that bad. As bad Trump is not as bad as the media says. Well, I mean, that would make more sense. I didn't have, yeah, I mean, I didn't have enough poster. And I think at the end of that rabbit hole, people are going to start to realize that Trump's not that bad. 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 I mean, well, I mean, sure, like every 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 period, like every president, no matter what, like the. That, that side of the media is not fair to that president. Like, w it, nobody's disagreeing with Do that. you think this media has ever been yeah. less fair to someone than Donald Trump? Has literally, treated someone more Donald poorly Trump than this? literally skewered for wearing a tan suit by Fox News for, for three days straight. Okay, like, so Trump, okay, Obama wearing the tan suit, big deal on Fox. I think that's stupid. I agree with you. But do you agree that that's not as bad as the media saying Trump is a Nazi dog whistling white supremacist who hates all races and hates women and hates gays and all this stuff? That's way that, worse than a tan a suit. Of opinion pundits, if if the, like that, if you're taking, if you're taking, like, I, I, how much MSNBC or, or CNN do you actually watch? I watch it every day. Okay, well, I don't watch any of it. <laughs> Right? You should. We're talking about it. You should know about it. So Trump is not that bad. Can we at least agree he's some bad? He's not perfect. Well, I mean... Okay, then there's some bad, yeah, and there's also some good. Do you agree with that? I mean... I'll meet you halfway if you meet me halfway. Like, he abolished, um... What's the the, the the debt for veterans who are... Yep, injured veterans, student yeah, loan debt. That's good. Oh First Step Act was good. I mean, a broken clock is right twice a day. Hi. He's not that bad, right? Thank you. Right. Industrial complex. Industrial complex. Foreign complex. wars. We avoided Syria. We avoided war with Russia. We avoided war with North Korea. He doesn't want to start a new Has war. Has he changed our military spending at all? That's he's increased he's it. Increased it. To war. So he's not for. Well, if you increase the military spending, the military's strong. You don't want to fuck with us, probably, right? Can we talk to a bunch of people? Did. Talk to a bunch of people. Talk to a bunch of people. Talk to a bunch of people. They're kind of realizing. They're kind of realizing the lies that have been told to them. The lies that have been told to them by the media for years. And I think at the end of that rabbit hole, we're going to start to realize that. Yeah, 2020, baby. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. Trump's not that bad. Do you agree Trump's not that bad? No, I absolutely agree that. Hell yeah. I mean, I was mortified, okay, just like many people were. But I'm going to tell you, I've lived through a lot. I've lived through, um, I lived through Nixon. I mean, I'm a, okay, I've seen a lot. And I think that you guys need to just take a deep breath, right? I'm really impressed at the way you're talking to each other. That's beautiful. What we need on this campus is more dialogue, not more shutting down. I'm just very, very impressed with you guys. Great job. Thank you. That was okay. so nice. I love you. All right. Really? No, and I love all of you. I think I'm so impressed with you that everyone's talking. I'm a graduate of UC Berkeley, 1980, okay? I lived through the Iran crisis. I mean, I saw, you know, they're in Sproul Hall, Sproul Plaza, people talking like this. And that's how we, that's how we engage, okay? Is when you say, okay, you get a point of view, you get a point of view. I think it's beautiful. I'm just so impressed. Ah. Hey, good talking to you. We had a good chat. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate thank your time. You. Thank you guys for listening.
Hope everyone's cool. That's it for us. All right, another Fuckus Talks in the books. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Uh, if you want to get some, I'm not wearing any, but if you want to get some merch, shopfluckus.com. It's a new merch store. We just launched it. It's a lot of stuff. You can get this. Uh, you get some T-shirts and some sweatshirts and some cool stuff. Whatever you want to get, please get it. Thank you, guys. We'll see you at the next one. Fluckus Talks. I'm paying him. I'm paying him. He don't care that you tired. He said you get paid. You gotta sit there and work. Is that's what you do at a job? Now, he hasn't called anyone a name. I yeah, I've been very nice. I've been very nice wanting to talk. Someone spit on me. She said some horrible stuff. It's all good. Do you like Fleckus Talks and want to buy things that say Fleckus Talks on it? Well, do I have a product for you? Hey guys, it's Fleckus. This week, I am telling you about a new product. It's the Fleckus Talks Wooden Spoon. We all know how hard it can be to find a good wooden spoon these days. That didn't hurt. I'm gonna keep misbehaving. With this wooden spoon, you can't scoop anything. But with the Fleckus Talks Wooden Spoon, you won't leave anything behind. The Fleckus Talks Wooden Spoon is great for scooping stuff, recording protesters, or hitting your kid. We all know how expensive wooden spoons can be, but if you order now, you can get a Fleckus Talks Wooden Spoon for just $19.99. $19.99. But wait, there's more. Do you like this apron? Well, you can buy this apron too. We sell it. Very cool. But wait, there's even more than that. If you order now, you'll receive Fleckus' secret Sunday sausage sauce recipe. Order now!